Hey guys, Chris for Inside Hardware. Today we are outside looking at gardens and irrigation systems. So let's get started. Here, as you can see, we are using the square foot gardening method. It's a square foot garden that goes along our entire driveway. We have tomatoes growing, we have broccoli, herbs, lettuce, and everything is doing very well. The principle with the square foot gardening method primarily focuses on the dirt using one-third peat moss keeps it nice and brittle one-third vermiculite it keeps the moist in and then the last third is using six different types of compost if you're not making your own um, and our garden is doing very well last year we did not use this method we tried to just add compost to the existing red clay and our gardens did not do that well. So, doing very well this year. As you can see, we have a irrigation system. This is our control sign. We have a little valve, automatic valve. It's battery operated, doesn't need water pressure. So it allows us to use a rainwater collection system that we have. And uh, it costs $30 at Lowe's. You can get all kinds of different ones. It is waterproof, and I add the Ziploc just to keep mud from splashing around the screen and into the dial mechanism. The red valve is where we can connect a hose to either use the hose to from the water system or use the hose to actually water the plants. And the blue valve goes to our rainwater collection system back behind our garage. We'll look at that next. Do not recommend using PVC for your entire watering system, but it does work for you know, your main components as far as going into the garden itself. I would find it probably more cost efficient to use a different type of hose that has different leak or drip valve systems. Here the, our garage collects on the two different gutters on the opposite ends. And in the back of our garage we have our water tank. We tried to make this the cheapest system we could find and we found a water tank already behind this property and so we adapted it and patched it up and even if the valve on it doesn't work well we went ahead and used the valve it's for now sealed open and it sends the water out to the side of the garage where we were looking earlier and as you can see the gutters collect into the top of this tote which I believe is a 275 gallon so more than we need. With about three inches of rain, it'll fill up a good foot. So that is our square foot garden and drip water rain collection system. Oh, and we used the garage because we didn't want to put a water barrel on the side of the house and mess up its appearance. So we hid it behind the garage. Thank you guys for watching. Comment and post as you want, and I'll answer any questions.